Okay, let's start with the problem solving technique in two dimensional motion. So you can see a fish spits a droplet of water uh, with a given velocity at some angle to the horizontal and you are asked to find y. Now this problem actually explains to you that how you can use the concept of motion in two dimension. For example, now the initial velocity is provided as 3.5 meter per second um, which is acting at an angle of 70 degree with the horizontal we can make two components for the velocity u x with the horizontal direction and u y in the vertical direction and you can also calculate at the start what is ux and what is ui ux is 3.5 cosine 70 degree this is equal to 1.5 one nine meter per second and u y which is three point five sine seventy and I, I calculate this three point five sine seventy that is equal to three point Two nine meter per second okay so now in order to find y which is a vertical distance you have an option of using two equations and you need to decide which is more suitable to use one is in the vertical direction finding distance is u y t minus 1 by 2 gt square or 2 g s y v y square minus u y square and you can see to find the vertical distance you need initial velocity in the y direction which you have at the moment and what else do you need is the time so if you can find how much time it takes to reach to y then you can find the value of y I mean the vertical distance um, for example if we choose this equation so for that we need vy and to find vy we can use this equation which needs actually the time itself it means we will have to find the time and then we will find vy and then we can find the value of sy which is required actually uh, it means for using this equation you have to do an extra thing like finding value of vy so of course we won't use this so we we try to continue with sy uy t now the thing is how to find t to find t we can use as I explained here uh, we why um, but of course we 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 need to to think something alternative so for example we we, we are given 
the horizontal distance and we can use sx is equal to ux into t because in the horizontal direction there is no acceleration so the only equation which is applicable is this one we have the value of sx which is given ex exactly 0 0.4 and ux we have 1.19 multiplied with t so it means we can find the value of the t which is zero point three four seconds it means the spit will take zero point three four seconds to reach to the insect now we can use this value of the t in in the first equation s y is equal to u y t so we put over there and s y is equal to u y which is 3.29 multiplied with 0 0.34 minus 1 by 2 9.81 into 0 0.34 square let's calculate this so 0 0.34 multiplied by 3.29 that gives me 1.12 minus 0 0.57 I rounded off to the two decimal places so that is 1.12 minus 0.57 that is <clears throat> 0 0.55 meter so SY is 0 0.55 meter which is actually asked from us in this problem which is the vertical distance so you can see how the equations of motions are used in two dimensions in, in x direction and in y direction at the same time and I, you could also learn that in some problems you are not asked directly to use one equation you have to actually find other things like in, in this question the t you needed it, it was not asked explicitly in this question and to to find t you have to use another equation and then um, having value of the t you can find the required thing